Hi! Magandang araw! Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. I'm Teresa G and today I'm going to share with you my experience processing or submitting our visa requirements on the first day of operation of the Korea Visa Application Center on August 29, 2023, Tuesday. Plano ng ate ko na pumunta sa South Korea in autumn ngayong taon na to kasama ang aming tatay. Mm, kasama ko ang tatay sa probinsya kaya ako ang nag-assist sa kanya sa pag-accomplish ng kanyang visa requirements. I'm going to put the link in the description box of this video where I got the list of the visa requirements. And basa sa Embassy of the Republic of Korea in the Philippines, para sa senior citizen na tulad ng tatay, ang 8 requirements ay application form. Ilalagay ko uli ang link sa description box ng video na to kung saan pwedeng ma-download ang application form. Pangalawang requirement is one piece of passport size colored picture to be attached on the application form. Third is original passport. Pang-apat na requirement is photocopy of passport bio page or yung page 2 ng ating passport. Next is yung original and photocopy of valid visa and arrival stamps to 38 OECD member countries tulad ng United States, Germany, UK, New Zealand, Canada, Japan, etc. Kung meron ka lang naman. And the next requirement is the original personal bank certificate. At dapat nakalagay dito sa certificate ang account name, account number, account type, current balance, account opening date at ang 6 months average balance or yung ADB. Next requirement is the bank statement. Pwede siyang original or certified through copy for the last 3 months. And last requirement ay ang senior citizen's ID. And since my tourist visa to Korea is going to expire in October, which is two months from now, I decided to accomplish and submit my visa application requirement as well. Base sa website ng Embassy of the Republic of Korea in the Philippines, ang 10 requirements ng tulad kong empleyado ay application form, one piece of passport size colored picture, original passport, photocopy of passport bio page or page 2, original and photocopy of valid visa and arrival stamp to OECD member countries for the past 5 years if applicable only, copy of PRC card or IBP card again if applicable only, Original Certificate of Employment, which must include applicant's position, date hired, compensation, office address, HR landline number, take note that cell phone number is not allowed, and HR email address. Eighth requirement is the Original Personal Bank Certificate. It must include the account name, account number, account type, current balance, account opening date, 6 months average balance or ADB. The ninth requirement is the bank statement, original or certified true copy for the last 3 months. And last requirement is the photocopy of ITR or form 2316. As you can see, visa requirements depend on the type of applicants. You just have to check and choose what is applicable to you. Pagkatapos kong makumpleto ang mga required documents, pwede ko na itong masubmit sa Korea Visa Application Center for Processing. They are located on the 9th and 10th floor of Brittany Hotel in BGC and is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. But they are giving out queue numbers as early as 5 a.m. 
I went there on August 29, Tuesday, and arrived at 9.30 a.m. and was given queue number 449 by the hotel security guard at the hotel's entrance door. I was instructed to go to the second floor and wait for my number to be called. When I got there, I saw a lot of applicants. Good thing that the waiting area is big, air-conditioned, has comfortable chairs, and even tables. The numbers that were called at 9.30 a.m. are from 131 to 150. KVAC manager announced that the waiting time for those who got queue numbers 300 and above was one and a half hours. But unfortunately, 301 was called at around 12.30 p.m. That's three hours of waiting time. I waited until the next batch, but sadly, my number was not called yet by 12.50 p.m. And that's the time I decided to go out and took my lunch at SM Ara, which is just across the Brittany Hotel. I saw Fonzi there, a friend whom I met in Seoul last year. Unfortunately, he and his aunt were not able to get a queue number when they arrived at around 11.30 a.m. if I remember it correctly because KVAC said there were 634 applicants already and was afraid they won't be able to accommodate more than that today. I went back to KVAC at around 2.30 p.m. And the numbers that were called were from 331 to 340. By the way, I asked KVAC if I can submit my friend's application form and visa requirements by any chance, but was advised that SPA or Special Power of Attorney is needed since they are not my relatives. While waiting, I sat beside a travel agent who's going to submit visa applications on behalf of their clients and she mentioned that handwritten application form is not being accepted by KVAC the last time she went here. I immediately approached a KVAC representative to confirm because the application form that I have were, were not computerized. Thank God because he said they will accept it for now, but they really prefer computerized or typewritten application form moving forward. Thank God. My number was called at around 4.48 p.m. and was instructed to proceed to ninth floor. There were two KVAC re representatives who were screening the documents and were giving another Q number. This time, it's computerized. They were asking which type of visa are we applying for. I said I'm just applying for a tourist visa and handed me queue number A374. At the waiting area on the ninth floor, there are two monitors where your queue number will appear and its corresponding visa reception counter number. I waited for I think 15 minutes until my number was called. I went up to the 10th floor after hearing my queue number. Unfortunately, video taking is not allowed inside the room. But there's a total of 28 counters, 20 of which are reception counters, 4 are counters for releasing visas, and the other 4 counters are for payment. After handing our requirements, I went to the payment counter to pay 900 pesos visa application fee for each applicant. By the way, if you want to stay in South Korea from 60 to 90 days, you need to pay an additional 2,000 pesos. And please take note that all applications should now be submitted at KVAC except for diplomatic passport holders official passport holders, and those who require a visa within one to two days due to clear humanitarian reasons. They can be accepted at the Korean Embassy. 
In case of spouse visas, interviews or Korean tests will be conducted at the embassy, but visa applications should still be submitted at Korean Visa Application Center. After payment, I went back to counter 12 and was given my application receipt and was advised that the tentative releasing date of the result will be on September 5th. I was also asked whether I want it to be delivered. I asked her if it will be delivered within the day, but sadly it will take two days, so I just chose to pick it up at KVAC. I finally finished everything at around 5.30 p.m. Praise and thank God. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you in some way and if it is, please remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. In case you have questions, for example, and filling out the application form, just drop it in the comment box and I would gladly help you. Thank you and have a blessed day ahead.